people, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art artist. I am an awesome painter with a lot of great stuff, a lot of great uh, uh, ideas and advice for you guys, stuff that I've gone through uh, in my own journey and I'm sharing here with you. Today, I have the, the, the whiteboard. And today I'm gonna share with you something, something awesome that I believe is gonna help you, well, at least one or two of you, I don't know. Uh, Today I'm going to talk to you about how to square a canvas. I know that this is like, what, 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 what do you mean? How to stretch a canvas? No, you heard me right. How to square a canvas. A lot of people don't know this. I know about this stuff because I've gone through the, through the hardships of being a, a starving artist <laughs> and stretching my own canvas and doing my own stuff. I still stretch my own canvas when for, for uh, specified... Uh, commission pieces and sizes and stuff like that that I create for my, co my my collectors. But when I first started, I I I was lucky enough to work as a interior remodeler and I worked with uh fine uh fine uh, finished carpentry, uh carpenter who did finished carpentry and I learned a lot of stuff because I worked uh I worked some years in that, you know, so I, I got my, 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 I got my rough hands, my rough artist hands. Anyways, I'm going to show you something really cool right here. Okay, so this is what happens. Very simple, okay? So you stretch your canvas, right? You got your canvas, right? And you're like, oh, here's my canvas, right? You stretch it. And you think it's all cool. What, what do you do before that, right? When you, when you cut the pieces. Let's say that you cut the pieces. Excuse me just for a second. Let's say that you cut the pieces, right? You cut the pieces of the, of the boards. All right. You cut this and this piece, right? The same size. And then this and this the same size, right? In order for you to get yourself a rectangle or a square or whatever it is that you're looking for, right? Okay. And you think that that's going to cut it, right? So many times what happens is that an artist doesn't know how to square a canvas, which is what this video is about. So what ends up happening is that your canvas, and some of you are going to be like, oh man, I know what he's talking about. Look like that. <laughs> Maybe not like that so much, but you know, let me cut you some slack. When you, when you, when you hang it. There's just something, something off, you know, and you're like, well, what is it? What is it? Oh my God, I don't know what it is. Well, you know what's off? The thing is not squared. So even though you measure the boards, the, the, the pieces of wood correctly, uh, or even though maybe you bought them already like that, you know, uh, if you don't line it, if you don't, if you don't square it, it's going to look like this, Okay. I don't know what shape that is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. So how do you square it? Very simple, okay? Very, very simple. When you're stretching your canvas, I mean, even before you start stretching your canvas, but if this happened when you stretch, let me tell you before that. Before you stretch it, let's say you're, you're, you're putting the boards together with nails or with uh, screws or whatever it is that you're using, right? In order to get it to... to, to uh, to square, of course, right? This is what needs to happen. From corner to corner, you want it to measure the same distance. You want to have the same measurement, meaning this corner to this corner needs to measure the same as this corner and this corner. You see what I mean? So, you line it up with your hands, you put it together, and then you make sure that each corner measures the same. That's how you square a canvas. It, 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 for, I mean, I, I know it sounds, it sounds like, oh man, I, you know, I do that, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know that unless I started working with a finished carpenter. I, I was already doing paintings for years already and did not know this. So it, for those of you uh, who don't know this, you guys are going to be thrilled about knowing this kind of stuff. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Oh, uh, next thing, let's say that you already stretch it and you're like, well, I already stretched mine. What do I do? Very simple. Okay, very, very simple. Many times you don't have to unstretch it. This is this has worked for me wonders, okay? So let's say that you already stretch your canvas. What you want to do is find an edge, maybe on the floor or somewhere, a wall. Okay, let's say that this is a wall. Put it at the bottom, right? 
Put a little bit of pressure here. Maybe someone can be holding it with their with their leg, or you can put a bucket of of, of water, or one of those five gallon waters, or whatever. I'm sh I'm showing you something very simple, okay? And what you want to do is grab a corner and push it so that whether it, you have you may have to pull it or push it depending on where it's slanted, so that each corner right measures the same. This distance and this distance need to measure exactly the same in order for the canvas to be squared. So what you do is that when that happens, you want to reinforce the, 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 the canvas or, okay, what I mean by that is that you, you'll, you'll, you'll pull it a little bit more, even though it's already, it's already uh, stretched. Or what you can do is that you can cut out little corners like this, right? Little corners, little triangles of, of, um, what, it, what, what is this called? Uh, any type of uh, thin uh, wood, board, any type of, it's not plywood, it's a, it's a kind of masonite board, okay? Little, little squares, maybe measuring, I don't know, little, little triangles, I'm sorry, maybe measuring somewhere, I don't know, let's say you, you, you've got a square, it's, it's a four by four inches or something like that, and you put it in each corner, the, but you only put them in each corner Okay, well, you have to nail it, right? Or screw it, right? On the back, of course, right? <laughs> but you only do it once you know that it's already squared, right? That's, that there's some pressure. Anyways, it's not that complicated. Once you start doing it, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I got some golden nuggets for some people out there, for artists, art collectors. Interior designers, I work with a bunch of you guys. You guys are going to love the content I'm going to be putting out here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.